Oh, so now let's continue. Let's touch on Tanakh. Tanakh. What is what is the Tanakh? You probably have heard of let's see Tanakh. It might be spelled also in English um, for K Tanakh. What is the Tanakh and what is the Tanakh all about? Um, many of the black Hebrews and Israelites um, have spoken much about Tanakh. And they'll say, well, it's about the Tanakh. What is the Tanakh? Now, Tanakh may be considered, they say, the T equals Torah. Right, the T equals the Torah. The N is the acronym equals the Nebim. The Nebim. Some with two eyes, Nebim. Some even say uh, Nevim. Right, the Nevim, which is the prophets, the Torah, five books of Moses, the prophets. And then we have the K. And the K is the Ketu Beam. Some say Ketu Beam. And this is the writings. So there's a tripartite, as you can see, there's a tripartite uh, formulation for these particular, for these particular three um, parts of what's known as uh, Jewish, um, Jewish scriptures. Now, we have the Torah the Nabim and the Ketubim, Tanakh. But then there's also another Tanakh in the Scriptures. There's another Tanakh as well in the Scriptures. Now, Tanakh itself is something that has been made up by Latter-day or other Jews. And it's somewhat adopted by many of us as well. Many of us have adopted this um, wording in seeking to reclaim our once lost but now found um, culture and the, the covenant. So we've also, you hear many of our people speak about Tanakh as well, without really a more than this understanding of what Tanakh is. Besides, this, this is probably the fullness of the understanding of Tanakh. But now Tanakh, there's a place in Scripture that's also called Tanakh. There's a particular, uh, we can say a particular valley, a particular people that's known as Tanakh too. And this is what we found it to be particularly um, curious as well as particularly interesting. I don't think it's, in, it's here in the Metaphysical Bible Dictionary, but you definitely will find it in the Strong's, in the Strong's Hebrew um, Concordance. Now, to, to get a to get a a look at what a Tanakh is, let's just get this right here and show you this. This is um this is this right here is what they call the JPS. This is the JPS, and as you can see, this is the Tanakh, and it's like we say, it's an acronym, and this acronym basically stands for the Torah, five books the Nabim or the Prophets, prophetical writings, and the Ketubim or the, the other writings, poetical writings, wisdom books, so forth and so on. So this is um, a Jewish, the Jewish Publication Society is responsible for this right here. This is, uh, as you can see, it's in the English and it's in the Hebrew. But unlike the Synagogue Torah, it doesn't really have full footnotes. So what we prefer in that particular study, what we prefer instead is this particular volume that we've shown you before, which is somewhat rare. This is the Sosinko. So Sinko, um, this is the this is the Chumash. I'll show you right here. This is the Chumash. This is the synagogue Torah, the Chumash right here. And inside it is much more detailed. This is just the five books. As you can see, it has the Hebrew and the English 
as well as the footnotes down there which are more exhaustive. So but this is only for this is only for the um the the five books the five books of of Moses and then each individual book also is contained like here is the twelve prophets. This is the twelve prophets as well. And these are some old books. They might be hard to hard to find but now with internet a lot of these things are available if you know where to search and and how to search for them. Now, on Tanakh, what we want to do is go into a little bit more about um, Tanakh in the scripture and to bring up that information, but we don't have that in our notes presently before us. So what we're going to do is keep, keep this moving right here, keep this moving what we have right here and go to the next part of what we wanted to break down concerning concerning uh, Torah, concerning the Torah. So Tanakh, so when Tanakh is not in the Bible in the same sense that we find Tanakh presented to us in modern, in modern, uh, in modern Judaism. It's not presented and it's not found in that same way. It's basically a latter-day acronym. But when you look up a place called Tanakh, and I don't think we have that in, like we said, in these notes, in these notes right here, so we'll probably have to move move forward. Um, but, but look that up in the Strong's Concordance. If you go to the Strong's Concordance, you will actually find... Um, you actually find the particular, the particular city. I think it's the city of the Canaanites, and we found that to be very curious. And as we started to study it a little, a little more deeper, it started to get really strange and interesting. So we, because there's a link with Tanakh, Tanakh as Anak, and Anak we have in the root Anunnaki. You know, there's a there's a kind of a strange kind of a link with that, and though it's an acronym, yes, it's an acronym, but it's very it's a very curious acronym as well, and it's become a kind of a hallmark of modern um, Judaism, but it's not really biblical. So Tanakh Tanakh is not really biblical in the sense that. It's an acronym, but that acronym, the only reference to that particular name in Scripture is not in a good way or a positive way. So we find that to be a little bit curious there. But let's uh, step forward from this and come back to this particular point, all right?